Yes. That felt great. All right. Give me some loot. Some exceptional things. We're already using an exceptional rod with you. Exceptional morning star, two-handed. That's that's great. Risen wizards. What do you got? I think that's actually what we're using. Oh, no, it's not. Heck yeah, I want that. Risen Wizard's Grimoire. I'll take that. Anything else cool? Selling. Ooh. I think the Arcane Dampener definitely helped, and I'm glad we're going to keep it. Ooh. Thank you, Tatcha. You got to see why I'm liking this game. Oh, man, that was great. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, only one person died. And she's mostly in the back line anyway. And everybody but a Loth level. He's 300 plus away. Oh man, let's do some leveling. As celebratory leveling. Oh, 10 mechanics. Give myself some diplomacy. Oh, another new tier of spell, too. And we get two of them. Let's look at the passives first. Quick summoning reduces the time it takes to complete a creature summoning spell. That's tempting. Martial caster, 15% action speeds with summoned weapon spells. Now, nah. 10% resistance against spells. That's just overall awesome. 10% crit damage. Nah. Okay, Venom Bloom. Grows a beautiful but panic-inducing field of poisonous flowers that frighten, weaken, and deal raw damage over time to those in the area of effect. Man, druids are just super AoE. Ooh. Accuracy versus deflection. And they're weakened for 8 seconds against fortitude. And they're frightened. Ooh, frightened's good. Versus will. Uh, lasts for 20 seconds, so it hits 7 times. So it does around 70 damage overall, and it's weakening and frightening them possibly every three seconds. It's another great AoE spell. Garden of Life hastens Barris Wheel, causing rejuvenating plants to spring up in the corpses of fallen and heal allies in the area. Now, do they have to be dead? Maybe. But it's essentially a 24 heal. That seems weak. That seems actually really weak. Maybe I'm maybe it's just worded wrong. It says per six seconds per because it might be uh every three seconds per six every sec I don't know. That's just worded wrong. That sucks. Greater blight. I think summons are a big deal. Summon weapon, Rot Skull. Weapon accuracy, damage, and penetration increase with the wielder's level. Area of effect, hit with a range that does bludgeoning damage. Creates rotting, disease-riddled skulls in the hand of the caster, acting as a ranged weapon that causes crush damage and applies disease-based corrode area of effect that does damage over time. That's a mouthful. That's actually kind of cool. <laughs> and Sun Lance calls down a powerful lance of sunlight from the sky, inflicting pierce and burn damage upon a single target. Single target damage. I want the blight. The summon blight. Hmm. Summoning spells are pretty useful at higher difficulties. I, we just figured that out now, unicorns for all. Also, happy Tuesday or Wednesday to you. Thanks for lurking. So, I'm, I agree that a summoning spell right away is good. Dude, glory! That's fantastic! Congrats, sir! That's a good... That's a tight-knit team for getting that high rating. I like the insects for this lit level. This one's good, too. This one, I use those spells a lot. This one, I use the Moonlight quite often, and this one, I use the debuffs. 
It was a 7-3 solo. It was all solo 7-3. Oh, nice, dude. Oh, yeah. Brigitte's just delightfully broken. Thick wall of thorns that inflict pierce and apply poison. I like using this. Because it's raw damage. And it's sickened. And it lasts for 30 seconds. So it's like the whole fight. AoE frightened. Go finish your places, bro. I'm sure you'll do fine on them, though. Because you just do the same thing you just did. Dreadful is the storm causing electro air that deals shock damage to and frightens anyone nearby. Yeah, this is a solo type thing. Because it would hit our friends, too. I could do this. Maybe. It'll stun. Hold on. It's not around... Is it around the caster? Air effect. Foe target. No. No. I have a scroll for that, which I'm not really flanking. You can get heal increase. I actually want a big heal. Where's a big heal? Is this a big heal? Eight plus defenses. Yeah. We'll do that. We got another great summon. A single target DPS. And another heal. That's a little higher level. That gives defenses too. That's actually perfect. Thing is, I played five matches badly, then just played Brigitte and Doom on Glory and won a lot. Well, you know, whatever works. <laughs> we just, I don't know how many tries it took us to beat this battle, but holy cow. That was rewarding. So many things died that we leveled up. I mean, I think survival. Yeah. We'll just keep you being athletic survival. You'll just be huge. Here with the game Star Wars The Old Republic. Is that the free MMO? Because I think I remember trying that with my friends. Uh, we played for like a little bit and then we stopped. This is an increase. Each time the fighter takes damage, the duration extends. Oh, wow. I enjoyed it. I thought it was kind of... It was... It was nice. I played uh, World of Warcraft the, the year it came out and played it for several years, so I'm pretty good at MMOs in general. And it's it's an old it's better looking. Um, Kara, happy Tuesday. How are you? Sweeps the fighters melee up in a large arc, making primary attack. No, I don't want them to worry about attacks. I want them to worry about defense. Spell resistance. 10% resistance against spells is pretty good. Disengagement attacks have greatly increased now. Maximum discipline increases. Nah, I don't care. Perfectly capable of wearing bulky and resistant. Ooh. I kind of want that. That's a lot more health. That would be useful too. Uh, what is this that I didn't get? Oh, it's attack. Never mind. Let's get this. I like that. I use that quite often. You played Chapter 6 of DR2 today. Really? Did you enjoy it again? Did you do something differently? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to start working on passives. Comes resistant to resolve afflictions like shaken, frightened, and terrified. Or we'll do that. So we got an increase to a defensive skill, and we got just flat defense. A few things you didn't understand in your first play. Yeah. Because Dong and Rumpa games are great. Like, we're going to take several of those um, characters, like, yeah, and make those emotes when we, whenever we make partner. It won't be till next year, but we're, we're going to get there. I, I believe. Totally believe. Oh, and Kara! Kichi uh, did a $10 sub. It was my first $10 sub. I'm still on a high from that. Like, 
she she flashed the happy grenade emote, and I was like, wait a minute. Only ten dollars, uh, Kichi. Only ten dollar uh, get people get that. So I bugged the heck out of her to get um to get the the intros for her. Oh, makes me super giddy, all happy. Uh, insight. Yeah, Kichi. Um, yeah, you guys usually don't run to each other, but she's she's awesome. Play dead. Falls over and appears to be dead for a limited time in the campaign. We're not using her pet very much. Oh man. Oh. While hurt or better, the ranger and their animal companion both gain an accuracy bonus against enemies that are bloodied or worse. So as long as we're above half health and they're below half health, we gain 10 accuracy. That's pretty good. Resistance to spells. Proof criticals. Do you crit a lot? I don't actually know. Gain a small chance to completely avoid any attack and convert some... I'll do that. I'm not... her ability... I'm using her just as a single target. Be dumb, just kill things. Uh, what is survival of the fittest, too? Yeah, she's just gonna be an auto hit. Straight damage, consistent, hits hard. 11th level. Man, we're at level 11 already. Woo! Uh, religion again, because some of your stuff increases. And... Alchemy, because it seemed to help last time when we were doing the other things. Okay, you have two abilities. Let's look at... I want to examine... What we're using and what we're not. I want to save this level of spell for the res. This level of spell is very good for circle, a good buff, and a good buff debuff. This level, I don't use Vile of Thorns, but I use Consecrated Ground a lot, and an accuracy buff when I'm not when I don't use the other one, so we're still good. This level I barely use, because I guess I do Iconic Projection sometimes? Maybe? Not really. Uh, summoning Spell Reduction. Creature Summons Less. Chance to completely resist the effects of a hostile spell. That seems really good. Let's see what you have. Beseeches the gods for more time, extending the duration of all beneficial effects on the allies in the area. How many buffs do we do? Like one or two? That's not enough. If I had more buffs to give us, that would be amazing. We can summon a spiritual ally. I'm all for more summons. And what's the one we just got? Minor intercession. Oh, well. Cool. So we have another big AoE heal. Um, summon an ally. Another big heal. What is this? Summons a flaming pillar of righteous anger, burning everyone in the area effect. Straight AoE. We'll leave that to our, uh, to us. I'm okay for this level being... Oh, it's a quick a heal, too. Yeah, I like the quick heals. Cast time is only 0.5. That's really good. Um, What else can we do? What else can we do? We get fortitude, will, or focus. You're not really doing... You're not doing damage. You're doing heals. We already got the heal increase. Reduces the time it takes to complete a spell's cast. Like that one. <laughs> Gain the ability to cast range spells over longer distances. We're all kind of bundled together. That's not going to matter. Martial caster. Summoning weapon spells. No. Catch increaser. No. Okay. I'm fine with this. 
Just a shorter cast speed. Heal, summon, revive, trap. I'm not even using this. I probably should. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Oh man, that was a lot. We haven't had a hard save in a while. We're going to do that over you, because we are successful. Excellent. Uh, do we need to rest? No. I don't want to keep resting every time I have to, even though I can't. You were saying? I was saying that fight was amazing. Amazeballs. That's not much to be in a crypt. You might find this interesting. I would, yeah. What is it? Shall be discreet. Ooh, ooh. Exceptional stiletto. Grants mob rule? What is that? Gains bonus accuracy when three or more allies are within two meters. That's kind of cool. Quick little stiletto. We don't have like a, a stabby stabby, which we might get in a little bit. The Azure Circle started a little more than a, ba than a band of street thugs. They used extortion and bribery to convince the authorities to turn a blind eye to their many disreputable deeds. In doing so, the rakes found that they had free reign to do as they pleased. The gang soon grew into a criminal empire, the rival of any guild in Aeora. This empire was built on coin, acquired through illicit trade, uh, protection schemes, and, as it had been since their founding, out-and-out -out robbery. When clients, rivals, or aristocrats refused to comply with the wishes of the Circle, they would quickly find themselves at the mercy of the organization's enforcers, remorseless, remorseless killers clad in azure blue cloaks who would ambush their victims en masse and stab them to death. What's that spell? Sapphire. Nice. Hold on. That's another fight. We didn't come down. We didn't finish exploring over here. That looks like. What do you need? Oh, to me that looks like a spike trap. I don't know about anybody else, but that looks like a spike trap. Ominous glowing thing? Nothing? Okay. Hi. Okay. I'm actually curious what a loss gonna get at his next level. Let's finish exploring over here. This looks like it'll... It's more of a secret. And a fight. Okay. Uh, save it. Marksman? Come and get me. I don't know if I can back up fast enough, actually. Oh, I sure did. <gasps> did he just stab himself? That would have been great. Okay. They're all going to come around that corner. What is this? Wraith, Shade, Rockdus, Ravager. Where are you? You're right there? Sure, you can cast that. That's fine. Uh, let's do... Oh, wait. Did I get a... You didn't level yet, but give me some summons right here. Give me that gigantic... I want a gigantic one right here. Give me another one. We're going to flank a dare, make him feel like a boss. Make sure nobody else is... Like, not attacking. I need you to attack the Wraith, just in case he's going to start casting things. Immunity disease. Ugh. Let's try again. And then they all come right in front of me. That's so rude. 
Get some deep wounds, grave touches. Can I re-angle this summon to like right here? Give me some uh, consecrated ground, Shoddy. Actually, wait, you're right there? Come on. Uh, right. I mean, we are really grouped up. I hope they don't have a caster. That would suck. This. Did you summon your tentacles or not? I don't know how you got right next to the bad people, but that's really bad. Like, super bad. How we looking? Corpse, they're all kind of melee-ish. We're looking for reflex. Decently high. Oh, what? What sound of pain did you hear? You have a debuff. Yeah, you do. Queen. Whatever you mind that miss. Can't take much more. I bet you can't. That sucks. Um. I think that it's, this is a perfect opportunity for this. That's a huge area too. Um. What else do I want to do? This. Now here's my question. Am I focusing someone? Kill this guy. In the game just now, there's a sound of pain from one of the... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. They do a good job with that. How did I come all the way down there? Anyway. Kill the guy that's not a skull. You just engage this person. Ow! Shouty! Shouty! Ow! Damn, a scratch. Ow! I didn't expect all everybody else to show up, and that wasn't even half as many people as that like, attacked from the skeletons. And there are only one, like, there's, there are level, more or less, and then one skull above. Just like that. It is kind of a generic sound. So we, let's do more, we did last time. I think being grouped is a deal. Do me a, a trap. All thick, than raw. That's fine for you to come look. Yep, absolutely fine. So our goal here is to kill you. Here we go. I'm gonna summon a dude right next to me. And in fact, so is a lot. Kind of like here. All the summons. You can actually range it until they get here. Um, wait, you're still stealthed? That's kind of cool, uh, but you don't need to be stealth. Now what is this? We got this. Uh, creates a bitter surge of ice and freezing cold air, inflicting cold damage on anyone caught in the conical area effect. So it's a cone. Falls. I'm going to wait for everybody to get here. Not my area of expertise. In fact, I know they're going to come up into me, so do this. Oh look, one of them are here. So let's all focus on this let's dude. Let's get started. You... Yeah, you can shoot him. Uh, where is... this? Accuracy. Can't get a clean hand. And you... Give me this. No pen? Oh yeah, they're, some of them are immune. Shade. And for whatever reason, you get like teleported and then you randomly show up with a bunch more people. That's 
not very helpful. No, it's it's plenty helpful. You're fine. But now everyone's kind of in range, so we're good. Uh, give me some insect people. Really? Can't get a clean. A lot of you are actually really low. Where's my other insects? These guys. Yeah. Uh, yes. See that issue? This is good. Yeah, they're all super low. Keep doing insects or something. Um. Keep killing him, keep killing him, come on. Come on. Another for the queen. They're so low. Oh, are you ranged people? I think you are. Come closer. If you get blinded. If you don't, that sucks. Okay, yeah, everybody get the marksman. He should go down in a second. You are ridiculously low. Show me. Here we go. Okay, cool. Um, your range, which are only one dude. So everybody, turn around, and kill him. Right between the eyes. You should be healing a lot more than that. I need to remember the fire bug. I think bounces back and forth between two people, so I could like infinitely do a bunch of damage, like a lot of damage eventually. Yep. That was a lot better managed. Come now, step into the light. And technically, nobody died. Grave touch, training freeze. Ooh. I need to use arcane dampener more. Does that affect beneficial as well? Faux AOE. So just their good stuff. Uh, cool beans. Let's go ahead and rest. I'll, I'm fine with resting, since it seems like we're not going to die once we do that. More max health for her. Now we're going to clear this area out. Hope everyone else is having a very happy Tuesday or Wednesday, wherever you may be. Thanks for spending some of it here at a spiftastic channel with some spiftastic people. Oh, so we killed the person who was basically here and living here. Oh, there's part of the eulogy. E eulogy to Asir. As blood seeps from wounds so deep in earth, a death croons about this sepulchre. Let silence fall and final warden to betake my priest until bear a stark maw. After many a battle, when my mace had fault him, now abind his wounds. <laughs> and, and can? In can watch only while he dies. Old English. So that's one of the eulogies. I think we need several different parts. A robed figure holding a lantern features predominantly among the etchings that adorn this sarcophagus. Remember to stay hydrated. Oh, I see your plan. Thanks for the trap. I can just start selling traps since we have the permanent trap. Okay. Now we can go this direction.
This looks like a trap. Actually, that's a trap. Well, I'd prefer something with a little more stabbing. Last time we again looted something amazing. Everyone spotted up and tried to kill us all. That's all that was there? Disappointed in you, game. Barris Bell. Okay, that's. I thought that was an actual bell. No, it's a plant. Okay, never mind. About to be amazed here. Um, which way would I want to go? Let's check down here. Then we'll go up. Up seems like deeper into it, so I want to make sure we go down first. Are these bones? I feel like these Can't are bones. Hide from me. Oh, hi, skeleton. I'm going to open up this uh, shortcut first. Ba bam Now here's a question. How many of you are there? Arthic Worthen Roth! 